Hi everyone, Richard Carlton here. In this video, we're going to basically build a asset management database from scratch in like less than five minutes. Up front, I wanna say that I kind of received this email and her name is Miranda. And the specific details of what she needs are not really important, but she needs to basically be able to track products in a warehouse or she could track uh, signed contracts and she's here to uh, catalog all this sort of information. Well, it all can be done and it's done the same way and it can be done in like five minutes in FileMaker. We're gonna go ahead and hit our stopwatch now and we're gonna put that in the bottom corner. We're in FileMaker Pro on my Macintosh. You can do this on Windows too. I'm gonna say new solution. I'm gonna come up with my name. I'm gonna call it assets. It could be museum or whatever, it doesn't matter and it's gonna to save to my desktop. So FileMaker starts a brand new file and it gives us this field picker right here where we can define the fields that we want. So we're gonna define some fields in here and then I'll show you another way of defining the fields. But what I wanna point out up front is that I'm talking and I'm educating as I go here. So I'm hopefully I can still get this done in five minutes. Additionally, because I'm under the gun in five minutes, I'm not going to worry about my spelling. Some of you are grammar Nazis if you are. Just hold your fire and give me a break on that for this video, okay? So we got artifact, fact, artifact name. I'll say artifact name, we'll call it that. That's the artifact name. I'll say new field. And let's, let's get a picture of the artifact. So we'll call it photo one. So I don't have to call it photo one, I could call it image one or whatever. This is the type of field that we're gonna put in our database. This is an arbitrary name. I'm gonna have a photo two field, but I'll call it rubber ducky two, just to show you that it's completely arbitrary. This is whatever we want it to be. This is the type of data that goes in there. So then I'm gonna say uh, artifact, we'll say uh, locate, well, maybe a museum, museum. I don't even know if I have to spell museum. And that's going to be a text field. And then maybe I have a, a location of where it's at, maybe within the museum. So we have the museum and maybe the location of the museum. We could say the weight of what it is. Now the weight is only interesting because it can be ounces or pounds or whatever. So you'll have to decide what sort of units you want to use. I'm just going to leave it text for now. If you knew it was always going to be pounds or something, you could put a number field to make it a number field. So we can do that if we want. Maybe insured value, that's definitely a number field. We definitely need a description. Description, and that's going to be a text field. And maybe we have the uh, date of the artifact, artifact date. So maybe it's like a sword from Christopher Columbus or some crazy thing, and it's from like, you know, 1700 this or 1500 this or 1400 this or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Date of artifact. And that would be a date field. And then you could also have date discovered, you know. So we have all these fields here. Now, this is our field definitions. I can also access the field definition going up here under file and down to manage database. So this is really important. File manage database allows us to manage the field definitions. This little list right here is exactly the same as this list over here, except this is kind of like a little quickie window. I don't know, quickie window is not official terminology. FileMaker has a different name for it, but if you want to quickly define your field, you want your quickie window there. So we say okay. Now from here, what's cool about this, I can drag and drop them on here. So the first thing I wanna do is put the artifact name, and I'll probably put it in, at the, now well, let's just put it right here for now. And when it comes out, it has the name of the field right there. I want probably the description underneath this. It knows how the little blue lines try to line everything up, so we get that. And then I'm gonna make the description like bigger. Right, like that. And then I can do a museum and location and weight and assured value and date of artifact, right? And I'm gonna drag these over here as a group. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then I want my photo one. Now really there's two photos in here, okay, to be clear about this. And the other one was called Rubber Ducky 2. I can rename it right here if I want. Haha, check that out. How am I doing on my time? I can't really tell. Uh, ooh, I might be cutting into my five minutes here, but I'm almost done. So I got photo one, I got photo two, I'm gonna drag that out here. Now, if we format something like this, then this doesn't match, there's a trick here I can show you. Holding down the option or alt key or whatever it is in a window, but on the Mac it's option, I drag it down, it'll make an identical copy with identical size, which is cool. Then I just double click it and I say it's the second photo. 
So then I don't have to worry about trying to resize the second thing to fit the size of the first thing. So there we go. I have basically completed this. Now I'm in layout mode right now. I can exit layout mode, but it's important to understand that up here is layout find browse mode. So browse mode is where we add data. I'm gonna say add new record right here. So we have a sculpture from King Leonidas. And that's from the battle uh, at Thermopylae, the gates of Thermopylae, right? Way back a long time ago, the Spartans fought the uh, Persians. And so here is a image of this artifact. I can drag and drop it in there and it's set. And what's cool about this is that we can put some buttons in here to make these containers bigger and more visible. I can also put some text in here. All right, so museum, you know, somewhere in Washington, DC. As I tab, you notice that it goes different places in the tab. You can actually control the tab order as I press the tab key on screen. That's other stuff that we can do. So this is now a fully shareable database. In fact, I can create another record in here and I can drag another artifact in here if I wanted to. I'm gonna snap my fingers and have that happen. And so once again, uh, we can put additional information here. We can flip through the records. We can also create a list view if we wanna do that. So the reality is I've spent a little bit more time than five minutes here, but I've also created a database and actually educated you along the way. It's really simple to build cool things in FileMaker. And if we wanna share this on a FileMaker server, I can simply go here to share and I can upload to a FileMaker server that I have access to and I can post this on the internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, I want some, we should set a password though. So let's say the admin password is gonna be 300. <laughs> it's a very weak password. Notice it says weak right there. 300 is not necessarily a good password. I'm gonna set the password and it's going to be closed before it uploads it. I have a list of servers that I've talked to here before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and post this to one of my servers. I'm gonna hit upload now. It uploads the file. And then we say done. And now it's going to ask us to go ahead and log on to it. So it was admin and then 300. And there you go. Now we're sharing a hosted database on the internet and I can access it from any computer using FileMaker Pro or FileMaker Go, really cool stuff. So to learn more about how to customize a database like this, you're going to want to open up our FileMaker Pro video training course. For basics in setting up a FileMaker database, you're gonna to wanna to consult video 301, 302. The modes, find modes, layout modes, all those sorts of things are discussed in video 303. And if you wanna learn more about doing finds and sorts and things like that, those videos are in the 400 series. You're gonna see uh, video 0518 on container fields, 0520 if you wanna see how we're using containers in FM starting point. So hopefully that gets you going and shows you how quick and easy it is to take FileMaker and leverage it into a very useful tool almost immediately.